All right, yo, hello and hello. How is everybody doing today? Welcome to the motherfucking podcast. I'm your host, Fluff, and this is Out of Fluff. Welcome, welcome, welcome all. Shit. Hope y'all are doing wonderful on whatever day that y'all are listening this to this on. Um. Just know, I want to go ahead and get this out of the way because I really like it. I think it's pretty dope. My girl got me a poncho. Look, I'm wearing that bitch right now. Hold on. Sorry for all y'all audio listeners. I just want to go ahead. Bro, look at, look at this. Oh, shit, the fucking mic's in the way. Boy, look. A motherfucking one-piece poncho. Look at that shit. Got a motherfucking chopper. Well, like Sunny, Luffy. And for those that's asking where is everybody else at, this is Alabasta. Right? Let me get back to the motherfucking thing. Yeah. So for saying for that picture, for the ones that actually watch uh, One Piece or AKA Goat Piece or AKA uh, the best anime of all time. Um, this is Alabasta. This is before uh, Robin joined the crew. As uh, so, yeah, this is like right as Alabasta was basically happening. Because you got Chopper, you got Sanji, Zoro, Luffy, Nami, Usopp. So yeah. I just wanted to go ahead and show that, dude. I think it's pretty fucking dope. I'm wearing it, and it's actually pretty fucking comfortable. Um, fuck with it. I fuck with it heavy. I don't know why Sunny's on here though, which is really confusing. Hey, that's Sunny, and they got post time skip Chopper. I'm not sure if whoever was making this kind of, you know, they could have kept everything in the same, but I'm not gonna complain though. It's pretty fucking dope. And uh, I got this from, we went to, uh, went to some place. I'm not going to say exactly where or anything, but we went to like a little place and we ate there or whatever. And they had like clothes there as well. Uh, my food was pretty fucking uh, hot doo water. It was hella fucking dry. So that's why I'm not going to say whatever place it is. Cause um, no, but just no. Those tacos were, uh, you know, everything that was cooked, you know, half of the stuff that was cooked tastes good. Granted, the only thing that was cooked was the meat and the tortillas. Uh, the rest was just cilantro and onions. But, I mean, they got they got half of the cooking things good. I mean, half. So fuck, but I don't, I don't really get how you just, they overcook the fuck out of the meat and then didn't add any seasonings to the meat. It's like they fucking, they, they threw like the meat, whatever meat that they had, it felt like they threw it inside of a fucking pot and boiled the bitch with nothing and was like, this is good enough. Probably after they boiled it, threw it on the fucking grill, and they chopped it up as it was on, like, the grill. But that's what it fucking tastes like. It tastes like boiled meat with, like, nothing. So, dude, that that shit was fucking disgusting. You ever, you ever had meat that was so well done that it felt like it was, like, paper dissolving in your mouth because it was so fucking dry, too? That's what it tasted like. So, um... Not eating there ever again, but I'll definitely go back. They had like some like clothes and stuff, some pretty other like things. There was also this machine that had Pokemon cards, and then it had one of the fucking Charizards that when it came out, it was around like a hundred dollars. So I didn't do it because I felt like it was fake, and each machine had that fucking Charizard. So it's either they printed out and did like the stuff themselves or whatever. 
but dude, I I don't really get it. it. It's one of the thing that kind of it irks it irks my soul to eat some type of like steak, and it is the driest thing in the fucking world. Like this is disrespectful to my mouth. Everything inside of my mouth it was disrespected. My eyes were even disrespected because it came out and it looked like it was good. Like I knew from the look that the steak was going to be, you know, dry. But I was like, you know, the flavors could probably end up making up for that. No, no. Get that shit out of here, dude. That was a that was a 100 percent lie. Oh, my game addiction. Hold on. Let me go ahead and replay. I got this shit on auto. But yeah, no, dude, don't ever disrespect my eyes like that. I guess you could say it's one of the things that grinds my gears, huh? We're talking about grinding my gears. Uh, you know what else really grinds my fucking gears? That happens to me way too fucking often. And it kind of a little bit, you know, just pisses me off. It's fucking... You ever, you ever been taking a shower, right? And you get out the shower. And then for some fucking odd-ass reason, after you done dried yourself off... You, you done started putting on your clothes, but you know, you're halfway through getting fully dressed and then a shit just immediately comes. It's just like a fucking truck and you have to end up taking a shit, dude. Like where the fuck was you at about 30 minutes ago before I got in a fucking shower or like 20 or 30 minutes ago before I got in the shower? Like where the fuck was you at? Like why? Why am I basically having to wipe my ass when I just fucking cleaned my ass? Dude, I, it, and it pisses me off too because not everything dries up so quick. So your shit is still wet. So even like as you're, how can I put it? As, as you're getting done with whatever situation that you just went through, and you got to wipe that situation to resolve that problem. But for some odd ass reason, your shit's still dumb. It's like, and I want to say it's dumb wet, but your shit is still a little bit wet from the fucking you just getting out of the shower, basically. So now you got to sit there. You got to make sure that you got to be careful because you don't want your fingers slipping through. But sometimes it could slip through. And then you just start, you know, now you're, now you're, uh, how can I put it? Now you're wiping your ass with a cider fingertip, rubbing your ass. So you're, you're wiping and rubbing your ass at the same time. So no, dude, it's fucking stupid. I hate it so much with a passion. And I don't know why my body decides like, Hey, you know, we're going to wait until after you get out the shower and then we're going to set this bitch off. Like. No, man, I, I don't really get it. It really pisses me off so fucking much. And then I didn't really fully think about it until I seen that video of the dude that looked like one of the dudes from Impractical Jokers. Or it's probably the same dude. I don't fucking know, man. Sorry. A lot of y'all people look alike. But fucking, he was yelling and complaining about it, taking, saying that he just got out of the shower and now he has to take a shit. That hit home for me. It was like a... It was like a glass shattering moment and that shit at home, bro. I, that shit pisses me off, dude. Like, I don't mind if I have to like pee. That's cool. That's whatever. But me having to sit down back in that moist ass fucking bathroom. And I got to take a shit. Dude, you just got to at that point, man, you got to make sure that. That how my bathroom is set up is like small. So it's literally just toilet, like toilet right here, tub. They're like side by side. Like sometimes as I shit, I could put my foot up and have my foot on the fucking, on the, the side of the fucking bathtub to get a new angle. But that's how small it is. Like it's a, it's a hot box bathroom, basically. That shit is crazy. That shit gets all moist up. You got to fucking take a shit with the door open now at that point. Because if, because if that shit stinks and is moist in there, that is a horrible time. Dude, you're not having a fun day whatsoever. Somebody cursed you at that point. 
either that or your body's trying to uh put yourself on on a downfall your body doesn't want to see you be great so that's just one of the little things that grind my gears i don't know about y'all i know that yeah i feel like everyone has like some type of thing that just grinds their gears to like another another level and that's just what that is that's that's all that that is you're just grinding your gears I don't know what um what was like the main thing that is like grinds someone's gears or like what's the what's kind of like the main average I guess you could say thing that grinds people gears hang on um, probably sticking your finger into something or like picking up a cup and you picked up a cup and kind of did like a little crab claw with it on top of the cup so you got four fingers basically stuck inside your fucking inside of, inside a drink i feel like seeing that kind of grinds my gears too because don't ever bring me a fucking drink with your dusty ass fucking fingers all up in it i couldn't i couldn't fucking deal with that dude that shit would piss me off i feel like i have to slap you because i feel like you're at that point you're attacking me and i need to defend myself so i gotta slap the shit out of you Cause ain't no way that you thought that was a good idea to put your nasty ass fucking doo doo fingers all up in my fucking drink. So yeah, no. That's why I feel like sometimes I like whenever I go to if I would ever like go to like someone's house, like if I go to one of my friends' house, then one hundred percent I would, I think I would definitely be pouring my drink. Like if I went to my homie's house, that not a house, but you know he's in an apartment. If I went to his place to ever like visit him, then uh one hundred percent I would have to be pouring my own fucking drink. Matter of fact, I may bring my own fucking cup. Cause I don't fucking know. I don't I don't know what casualties and experiments that that motherfucker got inside of his place. So yeah, no, dude. Mm mm. It's not even like a trust thing. I don't think it's just, I just want to make sure that I'm quenching my thirst. But yeah, no, those are like two things. I feel like I really grind my gears. I think mean, people, people in California, they're y'all getting this much close, this close. Okay. For the audio, uh, the audio visual people. The, the listeners basically the ones that like your ears imagine it you like the length of the white part of your fingernail that's how close california people are are fucking getting to grinding my gears dude the entitlement here is ridiculous like i don't know what it is about california but some of these people here did not grow up learning any type of fucking manners. And I I know it's not just in my area, but it's horrible in my area to where I stay. Got people, you go into the grocery store and you know how like, you know, whenever you walk past somebody, right? You just say like, you know, oh, like, excuse me or something like that. So, you know, you walking past them and like, you're kind of like you're, you're blocking their vision like you're you're getting basically in their way so that's why you say excuse me so you can get out of their way but um nah some of these people don't people here just don't do that like i don't know what it is like it's just maybe me with like a southern hospitality type of thing or whatever the fuck but i think it's i just think it's I, how can i put it it's not normal to reach back behind somebody and grab something when you could just ask them to move so you can grab that thing. Does that make sense to y'all? I hope it does. Or for for example, um me and my girl we were in the grocery store grocery shopping and one lady as we were like, you know, we was at the little cheese thing, you know how the cheese is set up usually. They got like the cheese and the little, I guess it's like the cooling section or whatever the fuck. But y'all know what I'm talking about. We got the cheese and like you could just pick it up and grab it. Like you don't, there's no open a door or whatever. It's just you pick it up and go. 
but we were just right there and we were looking for i think we was looking for like some type of cheese or whatever because we were making uh i forgot what the fuck we were making but the point of the story is, is that oh some random lady came up kind of like rag, right back behind my girl reached back behind her to grab some cheese instead of just you know asking my girl to be like hey i'm sorry can you move so i can get this fucking cheese or hey can i grab that or you could have just like they could have just said that like hey can i grab this they didn't even have to ask them to move or nothing like that because usually whenever somebody says that you'd be like yeah sure and you move the fuck out the way but no this something was happening with this lady to where i guess she just wanted to fucking uh sniff the shit out of my girl or something like that something had to be to where you wanted to get that close like you wanted to do something that close to that person for you to just for you to just reach back behind and be like yeah you know i'm gonna just go ahead and grab this instead of asking the person to fucking move so i don't know you got that what else um driving here is second second worst in the country because ain't nothing fucking beating florida and that fucking stupid ass uh distance between orlando and uh tampa there's there's nothing that's beating that bitch i fucking hate it i hate all y'all drivers there but the drivers here are pretty fucking bad i mean we got people that make up their own lanes so you're sitting at like a we're sitting at a light and the the light the lane that goes to turn is separate from the other lanes that go straight so there's a space in the middle People would literally sit there in that fucking stupid ass space and go straight and think that, you know, that lane goes to a fucking lane, dude. People here are so fucking stupid and I don't know what it is that they have this fucking entitlement about them. Why are you stupid and entitled? Make it make fucking sense. But, nah. Fuck them. Fuck these people here in California. Y'all getting really close to grinding my fucking gears. That there is, there's multiple different things. And for the ones that ain't never been to like California, like I, I live in like Los Angeles. Um, I can tell you right now, there's shit, there's shit to do here. Yes. This shit, does it look like it looks like on TV? No. All right. Um, yeah. That's basically what it is. You got fucking, oh yeah, you see like a lot of uh, streets and stuff. There's cars literally on, on the streets. So there's not like, you know, all oh, like it, it looks like there's a shit ton of people here whenever you're here. And you could feel that there's a shit ton of people here. But if you're looking at it through like a TV, say like if you're looking like at a movie and they show something where you see like there's barely any cars parked out or like, you know, it's a good average amount. And you're like, OK, yeah, no times that by like three. Dude, you have cars that's blocking people's driveways just park because they need somewhere to park. It's crazy. Like houses here for some fucking stupid ass reason don't have driveways and it's a good about half of the fucking houses here that don't have driveways. What's the point of having a house and you ain't got a driveway? Are you just going to park your car on the side of the street? Dude, get a fucking driveway. I would never buy a house without a fucking driveway. And some people here probably grew up thinking that that shit was a luxury. Like, bro, that should, that should be a common thing. If you're going to buy a house, have somewhere to park your fucking car. But uh, there's a good amount of houses here that just don't have any driveways or nothing. They, I guess the side of the road is where they park their fucking car. Dude, I don't, I don't fucking know. That shit is crazy to me. And I'm not saying it because like I grew up in like the South or like I grew up, I grew up in like Charlotte. So if you've been to Charlotte and never looked around, you can tell that it's more a suburban type of areas. It's just now it's all ghetto. Uh, Charlotte has turned any type of suburban neighborhood except for the white ones uh, ghetto as fuck. So, pretty fucking crazy to be uh, 
people don't even got no fucking they'll rather they'll have a pool in their backyard before they have fucking before they have a driveway and it, and here it's not like fucking New York to where you can get to everywhere without a car like nah dog you need a car here <laughs> like bro you you need a car like I don't know what you thought this was you need a car here Transportation here, horrible. Dude, public transportation, horrible. Out the fucking ass. Replay, but yeah. Entitlement here, crazy, bro. This shit is fucking ridiculous. And y'all be like, oh, it can't be like that bad. Like, no, you need to come here as a person that wasn't born and raised in California. Come here and spend spend a week. No, you can you can spend about like two weeks here, and you can tell off of the two weeks that this motherfuckers here are entitled. They think they're entitled as fuck. There's a whole bunch of main character syndrome people here, and I'm not sure if it's because like you know Hollywood or some shit like that. Like, bro, whatever the fuck it is. They need to get they need to get themselves together here, bro. Shit is crazy. Everything else here is pretty nice, except for the traffic and the fucking people. Food's pretty good. No barbecue places though. Um, except for like probably like a couple. There's one that's like a Texas one, and I think that there's like another one that I've heard is pretty good. But other than that, there's no really good barbecue places. From ones that I've tried, I've only had one that was good that I tried. I've heard of another one that was really good. I haven't tried it yet. But y'all don't do barbecue that well here. What the fuck? But there's a lot of Mexican food though. There's a lot of Mexican food. Um fucking kebabs goddamn everywhere. If you go more to like the northern part of Los Angeles, it's fucking kebab central. Like go go about like ten minutes up from downtown, you start seeing kebabs everywhere. Cause there's a there's a there's a huge uh, population of uh, Armenians that's in uh, Los Angeles. Huge population of Armenians. Huge population of uh, Jewish people as well. I'm not sure exactly like where they're from. If they're from like Israel or they're from like some other place or like Jerusalem or something like that so that's why I just categorize, categorize them all as Jewish people uh but yeah nah food food is pretty good but um I guess barely rains here I like rain I don't know about other people dude I might be a psychopath but rain is great because the naps hit different so I don't know. California is a pretty cool place. If it wasn't so fucking expensive and so many fucking stupid people, it would be amazing. But it's not amazing. It's just great. But yeah, no. Oof. So I had this topic for like a good minute and I just never really kind of uh talked about it but more along the lines of uh have y'all ever stepped inside of an elevator and you felt it move a little bit like you know it kind of did like a little it went like a little bit of up and down to fix itself to your weight yeah that shit happened to me at the um at my old job and i'm not sure if that bitch was trying to fat shame me or what brett there is no reason for it to start being like, oh shit, like start fucking with me. And it did it about half of the times that I got on that bitch. And I know for a fact, you know, I'm, I'm, how can I put it? I'm pretty, I'm a pretty hefty feller. Okay. I'm pretty fluffy. All right. I'd, I'd say I'm not really that. Well, I'm pretty big, but when you look at me from the front, I don't look that big. Probably sideways is different. But I weighed like a good like 250 and that elevator was acting like about 
10 people got on that bitch at once. I even told her one time, I was like, look, man, you're going to have to calm the fuck down, okay? All right, it's just me. Ain't nobody else. Don't try to adjust whatever the fuck you're trying to adjust for me, all right? Stop the bullshit. Stop playing with me, bro. We're going to go the fuck down. That elevator gave me a whole bunch of fucking problems, though. Do fuck those elevators. There was one time um, I didn't know that you was supposed to have some type of card or whatever the fuck to use the elevator before a certain time point in a day. So, like, when I had to go to work, there was on Fridays, I had to go in at 6, right? Nobody told me that the doors don't unlock until 7 o'clock. Why the fuck are you having me come in at 6 o'clock when the doors don't open until 7? Turns out it was a fucking key that, that you needed. But what did the company do? Did not provide a fucking key. So my ass is just outside waiting for somebody to come open a door or somebody to come up to open a door. So I did that. Um, one of the security guards ended up coming up and fucking opening up the door for me. I was like, cool. Thank you. I don't have a fucking card and I need to actually get up here to work. He was like, yeah, man, no problem. And he went into the fucking the back office. Fucking dickhead knew I needed a goddamn card to get up to the fucking floor. But I didn't know that the elevator took a fucking card as well, too. So I got on there because it opened. I pressed the fucking button and it opened. Got on there. Pressed 11 because we're at the fucking top floor. Press that top floor button. Then next thing you know, it took me up to three and it stopped. And I was like, man, don't tell me that this elevator is about to break down, bro. I'm about to fucking, I'm going to be stuck here in the elevator until whenever the bump fuck that they actually come and open this bitch up. But luckily it went back down to the lobby and I, I walked out of it I was like bro ain't no way in hell I'm getting stuck on that bitch again luckily somebody came on somebody came pressed the elevator button they had a key I was like this is my time this is my time I can actually go to work now so I took advantage of that went up there I was like yo um What's up with the elevator? Like one of the elevators decided to go up to the third floor and just, I guess, open his eyes and start looking at me like, what the fuck? Like, who are you? They're like, oh yeah, uh, you need a key to get up in the elevator. I was like, so you need a key to get in a door and a key to get up the goddamn elevator? Like, why, why are we working at this time? Turn, come to find out that if you park in a parking deck and if you buy the monthly thing, then you get a card. And that controls the door and the fucking elevator. It's like $170 a month. But I mean, if you go there Monday through Friday, then I guess technically I think the job should be paying for it, especially if they want you to come in at an earlier time anyways. But I guess, man, dude, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. I, that shit kind of pissed me off. Do that. I'm glad I don't have to be there for the elevators anymore. But dude, fuck them damn elevators. And I know the one at the apartments that I stay at, they be doing that from time to time too. Doing that little shaking thing and shit. Fucking with me. Elevators be fat shaming and y'all don't even know it. Watch next time y'all step on the elevator and that bitch move up and down. You're going to start questioning your weight. Do, do a little hop. Gotta, you, oh, you got to make sure definitely, you got to make sure definitely do a little hop. Check, make sure it's 30. Just got to check. Take that risk if you want to, though. They started shaking with a step. What do you think it's going to do when he jump? So fat that's going to end up all the way at the bottom. <laughs> but if you were going down, I mean, hey, call it a shortcut. But yeah, no. Thank you, though, everyone that ended up tuning in, either watching this or listening. I think those are the only two ways that I have available. Start putting my podcast and Brian and shit so people can start feeling it. But. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you again. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. And of course, always remember, uh, don't just do more, be more. Peace.